Hey everybody, welcome to Command Modern Air and Naval Operations. This is the event editor tutorial. Uh, the objective is to explain to you what it is and to show you how it works. So let's start. What is the event editor? Well, it's a tool that adds more variability to command static AI and editor storyline by introducing conditional or random events to the timeline of a scenario. So it basically gives editors the ability to make something happen. Um, in our terms, uh, an event uh, is a trigger that leads to an action. Uh, so what you're basically doing in this editor is constructing that logic. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look. Um, if you notice, we just have a small scenario here. Uh, it's basically got a US destroyer versus a couple of Libyan vessels. Uh, so we just use this as a quick and easy example. And I think probably the most appropriate event to start with and one you'll probably use most often is a scoring event. Um, to get into the event editor, just select editor and then event editor from the drop down. Uh, if you notice there's events, triggers, and actions, you can actually go into each one of these dialogues individually to create these things. Uh, I actually go into the events all the time because it does let you create the other two while you're in there. Uh, but you're certainly welcome to go into each one individually. Uh, it's up to your workflow. So we'll go ahead into events. So as you can see, there's a little dialogue. It's actually a list of events. So you can create a new event. Uh, in this case, we'll say, all right, so we'll want to score for, give Blue Force some points for killing some red vessels. So we'll say uh, Blue Force scores points for destroying red vessels. Okay, so we'll first need to add the scoring action. Okay, so we'll add actions and we will create a new action. Okay, so here's our list of possible actions. There's points which we're going to use. Um, you can actually add or subtract points. Um, this action actually plays into our scoring module, which I'll show you at the end, but it's basically a sliding scale which gives you the ability to show a player how well they did and evaluate. Um, there's an end scenario action, uh, which is self-explanatory. So let's say you wanted to end a scenario if a certain ship was destroyed, it would be possible to do that. Um, teleport to area is another action. This one's actually kind of neat because it uh, adds some more variability. You can actually set up variable start points with this. Uh, likewise, um, you could use it to uh, move units around the game. Um, message is another useful action. Um, you can basically display um, text messages to players as the game goes along uh, with a pop-up. And the last one is change mission status, which is probably one of the most uh, powerful because with some useful triggers, you can actually um, have missions activate, um, which is actually pretty useful in terms of uh, having an AI that's very versatile and variable. Um, so we do hope you'll utilize those. Um, we're by no means done with this. Um, we really want to add more actions and triggers and things like that as we go along. So let's continue. Let's add a points action. We'll go ahead and create that action. Uh, we'll give the United States and we'll say 10 points. So description, US scores 10 points. Click OK and close the dialogues. We can now add the action to the event. Uh, now we'll add a trigger launch its dialog. Okay, here's the list of possible triggers. Uh, unit is destroyed, self-explanatory. Unit is damaged. Uh, so you could actually set it to a percent damaged, uh, which will trigger something. Uh, side points, this one's kind of neat because you can actually loop some of the functionality in the event editor um, so that after so many points are scored, something happens. Uh, time, so you can set a time for something to happen. Uh, unit remains in area and unit enters area are area events. Uh, so you could actually um, define an area with reference points. And, you know, once something happens, a unit enters it or, or has been in there for a certain amount of time, it triggers an action. And then random time, which lets you pitch, pick a range of times where something could possibly happen. Um, so we'll go ahead and add the unit is destroyed uh, trigger. Okay, so we'll say a uh, Libyan vessel is destroyed. Uh, 
All right, so what's kind of neat about this is you can actually drill down to the specific vessel if you wanted to. Uh, but in this case, there's two different ones, so we just may just want to add surface ship. But you could actually specify by type, by class, and by specific unit, uh, which is pretty neat. So in this case, we don't really care. We just want a surface vessel. We'll create that. Close that. And now we can add the trigger. Now going to the top, you have a couple of different choices. Uh, first of all, there's the probability it'll happen. Um, with the points trigger, of course, you want it always to happen. But with some of the other ones, you could say, you know, 50% um, of a time an event will trigger, um, which is pretty useful, like with the mission activations. And again, it creates a lot of variability. Uh, with the scenario, it just doesn't play out the same way every time. Um, you have an active, uh, event is active checkbox. I can obviously turn them on and off. And then the event is repeatable. These are good for like the very general points ones because, you know, let's say you have 10 OSAs in the scenario. You want to score for each time one is hit. So you'd want to check that if there's more than one. In this case, we have two different vessels and we're you're using like the, a very general if a warship is destroyed. So we'll go ahead and check that off. And click OK. So let's talk about the scoring module for a second. OK, so you've already set up an event. Uh, that gives blue four points for scoring. Uh, so how do we evaluate that? Well, we've actually got a little module in the game that does it. Um, it's a simple sliding scale. So in this case, um, you can find it under uh, editor and then edit scoring. Uh, as you can see, there's kind of a high low value. Um, when you adjust those values, so in this case, we're using relatively low, uh, a low scale. Um, you just adjust the low and the high. And if you notice next to each one, there's kind of a, a measure. Um, and that's basically how the, how the game will do it. So now that we've kind of said a, a disaster is negative five and a triumph is five, uh, when players actually look at their scoring, it'll score them and it'll give them those values based on their score. Uh, so just a neat little tool, uh, nothing fancy, um, but it should work out well. Let's do one more event. Uh, in this case, I want to show you the... Um, Change mission status action. Uh, this is, again, one we've talked about, but it's fairly important. Uh, so let's go through it. Uh, first things first, um, go into the mission editor. Okay, you can review our other video on the mission editor for all the different functionality. Um, in this case, I'm assuming you know a little bit about it. So on the left, there's a list of possible missions. Okay, then at the bottom, there's a status, you know, and then active and inactive. So in this case, we're, we're looking to actually trigger a mission, so we'll set it to inactive to start. Uh, when you do that, you know it's uh, as um, the text of the title is changed to italic. So we'll go ahead and close this. Okay, then we'll go into the event editor. Okay, we'll go ahead and create a new event. So um, call it mission activation. Okay, so the action, we'll edit an action. Okay, it'll be a change mission status, create new action. Okay, mission activates. Side, you pick uh, the sides whose missions you'd like to see. Mission, okay, so this gives you a list of all the possible missions. Uh, we want kid patrol zone. And new status, active. So what's interesting about this is um, not only can you activate missions, um, but you also can deactivate. So let's say you had a, you know, a maritime patrol aircraft in a war zone uh, that's uh, carrying out a patrol mission. You could actually deactivate that mission when the war starts, uh, based on something happening, a, you know, a vessel being destroyed, etc. Uh, so it's pretty neat, uh, and it uh, adds more variability and smartens the game up a little bit. So let's go. We've created the action. Now let's go ahead and add a trigger. Uh, in this case, we'll just set a time trigger, create new trigger. All right, so you can just set the time you'd like, and we'll just call it the time trigger. You set the time, you click OK. OK, you've created your trigger. Now we can add the action and the trigger. So our mission activates based on a time. And that's how you would set that up. So that's the event editor. Uh, we hope this helped out. 
Uh, if you do have any further questions, feel free to write us on the Matrix forums. Uh, we also suggest you read the manual. Uh, there's a lot of details in it that'll help you out. Uh, thank you. Bye.